This week in the Missouri Senate, we review a new state law designed to help military spouses. House Bill 1511 and 1452. House Bill 1511 and 1452 modifies provisions relating to professional licensing reciprocity. The new law will take effect on August 28th. During Missouri Senate discussion on March 10th, bill handler Senator Justin Brown of Rolla told his colleagues this is something lawmakers have been working toward for some time. The Senate version of this bill, Senate Bill 673, passed out of this body unanimously. This is an ongoing attempt to make sure that Missouri remains the most military-friendly state in the Union. The Missouri House of Representatives version of this legislation came to the floor of the Missouri Senate one week before the Missouri Senate version. Senate Bill 673 and 5... Senator Brown sponsored Senate Bill 673 this year, which includes language from Senate Bill 560. Fort Leonard Wood is in the 16th District, and I personally had the privilege of growing up and later living around our military personnel. Our military is full of some of the brightest, most capable people in the world. We want to attract and retain as many of these type of citizens as possible. Current state law allows any Missouri resident who holds a valid current license issued by another jurisdiction to submit an application for a license here in the same occupation or profession this person is currently licensed. This new law allows any Missouri resident, resident or non-resident military spouse to apply for a license here. Current law requires an oversight body to waive any examination, educational or experience requirements for a licensure within six months of receiving such application. The new law will let the oversight body waive these requirements within 30 days and then issue the license. Resident and non-resident military spouses will also be eligible to apply for a license with any board, department, agency, or office of a jurisdiction that issues licenses. This new law repeals the provisions relating to the issuance of a temporary courtesy license to a non-resident spouse of an active duty member of the military. Senator Carla May of St. Louis says the new law also parallels workforce development improvements. There's some opportunities out there in workforce for adults and individuals who are looking to get into the workforce. They've provided several avenues for that to take place. July 14th marked the last day for the governor to sign, veto, or let legislation become law without a signature. Most new laws take effect on August 28th in Missouri. The annual veto session will take place in September. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate, plus see a complete list of truly agreed to and finally passed legislation by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.